Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a very early sneak peek look at a very, very cool tool for use with Yuzu emulator, this Nintendo Switch emulator. So to showcase exactly what this new tool does, I'm going to have to load into gameplay and just run around in the game world for a few minutes. Okay, so now that we're in the game world, you can see that my performance is absolutely terrible in the bottom right hand corner of this Yuzu build. This is not to be indicative of how Yuzu is running at this point in time, this is basically a build that is specifically kind of for the development of this new recording tool, and its performance should not be attributed to the performance of Yuzu emulator itself. So as you can see, I'm getting in and around... 20, 30 FPS sometimes, but performance is just pretty terrible. But it doesn't matter, this is not, we're not looking at performance in this video, I'm just here to show you this tool. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to stop talking for a few seconds, I'm just going to run around some more and then I'll come back once I have finished my little gameplay run. Okay, so that should be enough gameplay, and that's actually pretty good timing because my controller just died. So when we come to our Yuzu folder, you can see this test.mp4 file. Now, what this tool I was talking about in the start of this video was doing was recording every single frame and audio input and then writing them to this video file. So as you can see, I'm just going to bring this video forward to where we actually get into gameplay. And there you go. You can now see that this tool has recorded absolutely every single frame and audio input and given it to me in a video file that is absolutely perfectly locked at 60 frames per second or it will be perfectly locked to the maximum frame rate of your specific game that you are playing on this emulator. Now, unfortunately, at this point in time, it's not really available for public release due to the fact that it's still really, really buggy and sometimes just doesn't work and crashes your builds. But once it does get released, I'll make sure to let all of you guys know that it is available for use and you can download it straight away. So the main reason I wanted to make this video was to ask you guys what you think of a tool like this. Will you have any use for it? Would you use it to record your gameplays on this emulator so you could upload them to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you just wanted to have them? Let me know down in the comments what you think of this tool. Once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.